and see a favorite of Elvis coming back home to Graceland. Jamming it to your favorite lunchtime spot today. On the south side of town, there was a traffic jam that had nothing to do with lunch or cars. It was a plane, Elvis Presley's Lisa Marie, and as you would imagine, it attracted plenty of attention. The old Delta jet, Convair 880, began its journey at 5 this morning, leaving its temporary home at the Memphis airport for a permanent stay at the home of its former master, Graceland. But getting it there took some time and a bit of doing. At the top of your screen, it's easy to see the convoy had to make some special efforts, literally, not to run through the lights. In addition, 35 feet had to be cut off of each wing in order for it to ride down the street. Those wing tips will be replaced once the plane is settled. In the meantime, over on Elvis Presley Boulevard, the crowds have begun to gather. We live in this area, and I thought someday they'd enjoy talking about being able to see it. I brought my little boy here. He's interested in planes and all, so I thought it'd be interesting to him and all to see a plane like this. Oh, I see it! Shortly before noon, the largest piece of Elvis Presley memorabilia came rolling down the boulevard. But by now, it was not alone. Even the city and county mayors didn't miss this event. The legendary Elvis spent a million dollars refurbishing this plane, and because it was his favorite, he named it after his daughter. It took two years of planning to get it back to Elvis's home, so a day like today couldn't go unnoticed. Oh, we, Richard C. Hackett, the mayor of the city of Memphis, Tennessee, and William and Morris, Jr., mayor of Shelby County, Tennessee, do hereby proclaim February 22nd, 1984, as Lisa Marie Day, and we ask all of you to join us. I commend you on continuing pre to preserve our memories of an outstanding Tennessean and make them accessible to the public. And it's signed Lamar Alexander, Governor. The plane was flown here from Florida and will be a major tourist attraction across from Graceland Mansion. And by the way, the Lisa Marie will go on display in May with tours inside and out. Looked uh, a little unusual having a yes. plane coming down. Yes, it was a bit road. unusual today. And, of course, it's something like that that puts Memphis on the map. Sure, a lot of hoopla. It's kind of nice to see it sometimes is. in town. Look, Graceland and all... This luxury jetliner arrived at its final destination at Graceland today. Marjorie Ford reports. parade led by high school musicians marked the arrival of the Lisa Marie. The plane, which once belonged to singer Elvis Presley, was named for his daughter, and as it was being returned to Memphis for public display, his fans, like Sue Johnson of Atlanta, were there for the homecoming. I loved him. He was precious, precious. And also on hand were Mayors Hackett and Morris. And now, therefore, we, Richard C. Hackett, the mayor of the city of Memphis, Tennessee, and William and Morris, Jr., mayor of Shelby County, Tennessee, do hereby proclaim February 22nd, 1984, as Lisa Marie Day, and we ask all of you to join us. The Lisa Marie will be parked permanently across from Elvis's Graceland Mansion, and public tours of the jet will begin next month. Uh, the, the tour of the plane will really include a pre-presentation capped by a walk through the plane, which we think together will really be a fun experience. The Lisa Marie adds yet another piece of history to the Elvis legacy here in Memphis, and like Graceland Mansion, it too is expected to become a major tourist attraction. Marjorie Ford, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.